So. So if we do a bit of filter modulation from the LFOC, then. we have a triangle wave to do so. So now basically, in be between this connector and the modulation level knob, so after the connector before the modulation level knob, is a sample and hold. And the sample and hold basically triggers on every change of direction of the LFO. So when the LFO changes from up to down, it gives a sample impulse and it goes from down to up it gives a sample impulse so now i put a very slow lfo on the input so now you hear like normally speeding up and slowing down But if I now speed up the rate of this LFO, you hear that it starts to behave in a different way. So I know the signal that is sampled is actually much faster as the LFO rate here. And normally you wouldn't hear a lot of effect without the sample and hold, but with the sample and hold it becomes much more pronounced. So to make things a bit more simple to use if you have only one LFO, the CMOD input is actually normalized to the LFO A. So that means that if you open the modulation now you hear the same effect, but LFO A is very slow, but if I speed up LFO A, and so the effect is that you get more a sort of a clustering kind of effect. sudden faster and slower effects and if I, if I increase the fluctuation and so the, the level of the LFO A you get so it's a bit of a sort of more random kind of effect that you have but the funny thing is that it's actually also, the output of the sample and hold goes to the LFO, but it also goes internally to the A mod input of the A sine wave. So if you open so and now you can sort of sort of make clusters of little sine wave blips. that if you uh, sort of uh, uh, do a sequence and you, and you use the triangle wave to actually modulate Rhythm, but it sort of 
is steady because the rate of the LFO is the same. But if I now open just... The modulation becomes more random. So, you can... Just put a little bit more... Randomness, life in it, 